Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I would show how to modify status bar properties effectively. If you have not subscribed, please do so you can get notified when I post new videos like this. Without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the video. Status bar color and brightness can get confusing. Just keep in mind that the status bar color is simply that background strip and the brightness is what defines what color the icons or text would be. They are mostly similar on both platforms. One way to change the color and brightness is to use System Chrome. I would be using this simple setup that I have here. The best place to put this is in the main method just before runup is called. Now enter system chrome dot set system UI over lister, which would import the service package. Then set the style to system UI over lister, which will give us an option to modify some system UIs like navigation bar color. But our focus in this video would be on color, bar brightness, and bar icon brightness. The bar brightness is for iOS, so I would set the brightness to dark to get a white icon and text, then alt reload. So the idea is to get white icons, set it to dark, and to get black icons, set the brightness to light. The white icons are not visible with this background, so I would set the background to teal and reload the page. Now you'd see the effect properly. To set the brightness for Android, you set the value of status bar icon brightness. Now unlike bar brightness which inverts the color, this is more direct. To get black icon, set it to black, and to get white icon, set it to light. To have uniform brightness while using system UI over lister, use inverse brightness, meaning if you are using dark for bar brightness, set light for status bar icon brightness, and vice versa. Then to set the status bar color, simply set the status bar color to your preferred color. I would use red. This only works on Android though. You can also change the status bar color and brightness by using Abba. I would add Abba to the scaffold widget and run the project. The Abba color defaults to the primary swatch set in the theme later. To clear the effect of system chrome color change, I need to stop the project and run it again. Cool. Now that the Abba is in place, you can set an app wide brightness. Go to the material widget and modify the theme data. Add a bar theme and extend from default a bar theme using theme dot of contest dot bar theme dot copy width and override the brightness. They are all currently using dark brightness now, so I would set it to light and run both apps. To set brightness for a specific page, simply override the brightness in the app bar widget. I will set the brightness back to dark to get the white icons. Finally, if you are not using default app bar in your project, you can use annotated region to modify the status bar. I would show that using the new widget I have here. To use this, simply wrap your scaffold widget with annotated region, then pass system UI overlay to the value property, similar to the style used in the system chrome. I would simply copy and reuse that. To show it properly, I would remove a bar and app theme and run the project. Huh, so I guess we need to use just system overlay style only. Now I will fix that. Replace the home widget in the material app with our new widget and reload the project. Also, I would change the background color to teal to see the effect properly. With this guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next video.